All right, so I'm in a much better mood this morning. So let's try and get a good game going and see what we can do. So I'm going for Phil. Uh, I'm not really picky on which lane I'm in, which role. Uh, I definitely would say that jungler is my weakest role overall, just because the macro plays on uh, what clear paths to take, moving around, who to help when, things like that. It's a lot for me to handle, and I'm not really all the best at knowing where I'm supposed to be at any one point in time. So jungling, definitely my weakest role. That being said, I'm in silver. Everything's a weak roll. <laughs> but we got bottom. So my usual picks in bottom are Caitlyn and Misfortune and Jinx. Those are my three best, uh, three highest win rate, I should say. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Jinx today. It feels like a Jinx game. So let's pull over to Precision. Ooh, definitely got to make sure to switch that to Fleet after I finish banning. All right, so Blitz is banned. Leona's banned. Hell yes, get those two CC bots out of the way. I got a brand support, which is always going to be nice. Well, hopefully it's a brand support. Anything can happen with the picks and bans. Um, all right, so yeah. Did that? Okay, yeah, I did hit save. Fantastic. Double Leona ban. There's the brand ban. You hate to see it. Hopefully he... Uh, Hopefully he's got another high damage support like Zyra. Uh, Zyra would work really great in this situation too. Anyone that can put down CC and damage is always right alongside Jinx in, in good pairings. Um, just because she's a hyper carry on her own. If you can output damage alongside her, it makes her job easier. Doesn't matter who gets the kill, she can clean up. Doesn't matter who gets the first kill, she can get the rest. Karma's good. Karma's a good option, not quite the... She's got damage, but it's not quite the high damage support that I was uh, thinking of. But the extra shields and movement speed, definitely going to give us some the, the leg up on the enemy. Uh, right now, uh, it looks like that's going to be a Kai'Sa bot lane. Or, never mind, because that's a dodge. Gotta love it. I'm still thinking of Jinx. Still think I'm going to go Jinx. But now I have to worry about uh, the previous... Now I have to worry about the previous team deciding, oh, hey, let's ban the Jinx since they saw me pick it. I don't think they're going to do that, though. It doesn't happen like all the most often, often at least not directly to me. So it should be okay. Let's see. We've got a little more AD on our team than I would like. No brand ban this time. That's nice. My support can actually do what he wants, hopefully. Uh, unless they decide to pick it. At which point, ouch. Um, Jinx doesn't usually have too much trouble against a brand. Uh, unless, you know, she makes a mistake. Just because Jinx outranges a brand uh, for most of her... Like, her zap outranges him. She's got CC, like, self-peel between the W and the E. You can lock people down pretty easily. Um, and her rockets extend her range pretty far. So, generally, by the time it hits late game, Jinx doesn't have a problem with Brand. It's the early game where it's it's the, the make it or break it. We've got two tanks on their team already. I'm really hoping that's a Volley Bear jungle, not a Volley Bear support. Because Volibear support's not going to be a fun lane for me. Um, we just don't have the early damage output to deal with a Volibear. Anivia might be a bit of a problem, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Uh, that's for later game anyway, unless she decides to roam a lot. Um, okay, it's a Morgana. So... It'll be an interesting matchup. Tysa Morgana, always a good pair. Uh, but at the same time, like I was saying earlier, Brand and Jinx are a great pair together because Brand's got the damage to support, to get Jinx the kills. Um, so, I guess we'll see. 
their team comp looks good. Our team comp looks good. We've got a bruiser, a tank, an assassin, a mage, and an ADC. So we've got a more classic comp. They've got... Well, no. Yeah, no. They, they have two mages where we have one mage. So really, the only difference is that they've got the extra AP. We are uh, really heavy on the AD, though, so I'm kind of worried that they're going to build, like, they're going to stack a lot of armor. Because all it's going to take is Volley Bear or Renekton build. Renektoy, I love that skin. It always catches me. All it's going to take is them building, uh, like, a Bramble Vest, and I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to do much against them when they gank or late game. Uh, but... Volibear is going Dark Harvest. Uh, I'm fairly certain that was a mistake on his part. I don't think I've seen any Volibear take Dark, Dark Harvest ever. That that honestly, that actually honestly might be the first time I've ever seen Volibear take Dark Harvest. Aside from me, when I was trying to joke around with my friends about how broken it was when it first came out. Um... So, that was definitely a mistake on his part. Uh, Morgana took Guardian. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty classic. Black Shield and all that. Um, the top lane battle between Renekton and Mundo is going to be interesting to watch. Um, both of them have their positives and negatives in that in that matchup. I'll try and get some... I'll try and get uh, some sight up there. Uh, keep the camera up there a little bit. Just to... to get some vision of them duking it out, but uh, depending on how aggressive these two are, I won't make any promises on that. Um, I'm hoping Xin Zhao favors bot lane this game, because a uh, good level 2 Xin Zhao gank, that's going to make us fly. All it's going to take me as Jinx is a few kills early game. If I can get like 3-0 and or 3-1, and I might be able to take the game over. Um... Just by fact of Jinx is... Jinx snowballs way too hard. So. We've been sitting at 100% for like full four or five seconds now. and It might be a little longer. I haven't really been paying attention that much. Uh, okay, fantastic. We're in. Um, I'm I'm just gonna go for the classic build on Jinx. I don't really feel like doing anything uh, super special here. There's really no need to. Jinx is Jinx. I'm taking my Q first. I like I like the attack speed. I know a lot of people. I don't know if they still do it. I haven't paid attention a lot. I know a lot of people used to take Zap first, uh, just for the for the poke, but. I just honestly prefer being able to get the early CS easier. Okay, wasn't me. Uh, yeah, I'll waste the ward. And I was trying to get over there to see if I could whack her with a, with a rocket, but she saw the ward before I could. Um, I don't think they're going to do anything more there. Um... I think that was just kind of to... I think that Morgana Q was just kind of like to see who was where. Yep. Okay. Stop at 600. I don't need to be there any longer. I gotta get down bot lane. Um, oh good, they weren't gonna cheese me. I was kind of worried that they would have been like sitting in that bush waiting for me. Okay. Uh, I got two of them. Wow, Brand's already wasted the uh, Morgana Guardian. That's nice. 
Kais is 2 CS up on me, big deal. No. It's like the first couple minions. Okay. Thankfully, Morgana does not seem to have the greatest aim, but, you know, that could just be her faking us out for later. I remember the old Blitz tactic of doing that. Or at least, everyone said it was a Blitz tactic. I don't know if that was actually a tactic or people were just trying to save face, but... That old Blitz tactic of whiffing uh, every hook pre-level 6 and then just nailing them left and right. So, who knows? She may be trying to do something similar. I don't really have that high of expectation for it, but... And, well... Oh, there we go. I, I open my mouth and Morgana catches me in a bind. Of course. Um... All right, so we got her heal. I'm going to pop my potion here. I'm just going to try and live. She's 6 CS up on me, but I think it'll be okay. All right. Ah, crap. Oh, nice. I'm going to flash out of that. I'm going to wait for her to pop her... Okay. Solid. I think that's the kill. There we go. And an assist for me. Fantastic. Good job, Brand. Uh, did Zin... Zin didn't get a kill, did he? No, Talon did, though. Talon got a kill on Volley Bear. So that was, that was overall just a good... Good engage in the... In the in the jungle there. I'm going to go ahead and get tier 1 boots and a long sword. Yeah. Kind of sad that I don't get anything bigger out of it, but it was just a, like I had to back there. Nothing more I can really get out of it. If I had gotten the kill, I probably would have been coming back with a uh, pickaxe, but there was no way I was going to risk that. It was just too... Too scary. Um, I think he's just dead. Oh. Alright, so he's out. But that's fine. Um, I don't know why he flashed, but if he gets the kill, power to it, more power to him. But that's probably going to end up getting him killed. Kais is coming up, guys. Back off. Or turn. That's it. All right, that's another kill. Fantastic. Brand's already 2-0 now. I really don't want to be gone any longer just because I'm I lost so much CS off of that. Like, granted, she's only 10 ahead of me, but... I just, I just don't like how much CS I had to lose to make that, to get myself an assist on that. I think it balanced itself out gold-wise. Um, I think I got 75 gold off of that, but Brand ended up dying in mid. Yeah, it was just, I'm just glad I left when I did. So Anivia died after killing Brand. That's what I'm seeing. Talon got volley, another kill off of Volley Bear. So Volley Bear's already 0-2. That's really good for us. With Volley Bear and Kaisa both being 0-2, we've got a really good chance at, at winning this game just off of that, as long as we don't screw it up and let the enemies just rickroll us later.
Um, that was an awkward angle. I think she... But I'll take it. And so Talon's 3-0, and and that that's a big point to make there. Because Talon being 3-0, and Talon's going to get very scary very soon. He's going to end up roaming down bot lane at some point, and... Like, poor Kais is just going to end up getting dumpstered. And I, I'm fine with that. Like, I'm absolutely fine if I don't get many of the kills this game. As long as... As long as we end up winning, and I don't end up feeding. That's that's the goal today, is just to not feed. Ooh. Well, he seems fine. Oh, Xin Zhao finally dying uh, to the Anivia. All right. So I'm 14 CS behind Kaisa. That amounts to the goal of a kill. I, I'm pretty sure that was the math done somewhere. I could, I can't remember for the life of me where I heard it. Yep. And see, there's a Talon roam. We just got to keep them here. They must have vision somewhere. Oh no, no. They're staying. They were just waiting for the wave. Talon wants to make this work, we can do it. Ah, she flashed. Unfortunate. Thank you, Brand, for the assist on the CSing. All right, so I went from 14 CS behind her to 5. So. Yep, he's just dead there. And Brand is now 3 and 1. Which is a very, very nice thing to see. I'm going to... As much as I would love to get in on that, I'm still... Okay, now it went to being 11 behind in farm again. Yeah, she caught the whole wave. Still, we are slowly edging the uh, CS back to being even. Oof. Okay, that's uh, not the way you want to see it. How did that not even hit the minion? Uh oh. Oh? Sad day. I was hoping that would bounce to Kaisa. That would have been a great kill. But uh, we're level 7. We got 52 to 56 CS. So we are back in the game on the CS. This might be where I get the lead on it. Well, I evened it out. And with these turret plates, that definitely puts the gold back in my favor. Because she doesn't have a kill at all. So with me even in CS, I have like 60 gold a plate up on her. And me having three assists, the gold is now completely 100% in my favor. And we might even be able to get the tower here if we're lucky. Because the minion wave is coming. Oof. I'm just going to try and push it. Like, I want this tower. Nope, nope. Not going to happen. Yeah, I wasn't getting out of that because Geisa ulted, so I just had to try and do something. Unfortunately, it ended in Brandon my death. We should have backed off. I, wa I, got, I wanted the tower. I really did. But the moment Morgana got back, I should have just left. Well, regardless, we have a BF sword and a pickaxe. So that's a huge, huge damage spike for me. I'm going to see if I get lucky. I think Morgana's low enough. 281. Yes! Absolutely beautiful! 
That's what I wanted. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, she didn't even think about it. Yeah, that's like 390 damage right now. Morgana had like 280 health. It was it was easy easily mine. We're gonna max our zap next, uh, just because it's got the the. I want it on cooldown as often as possible. It's decent damage. I just need to get better aim. And then once I can get some better aim and land some of these zaps, that'll be... That's just good damage overall. And there's the first turret to me. Like, unfortunately, Brand is now 3 and 2 versus 3 and 1. But, I mean... Now I have the advantage. I'm going to throw a ward here just so I can move. I'm going to let him know that I'm not with him. Oh, good. Now, let's... Nice. There we go. Oh. Oh. That's like... Pick him, pick him, pick him. There we go. Ah, uh, his healing is just too much. Someone need... I don't want to be the one to buy the heal cut because that takes out of a crit build. Um. Okay, I was not expecting that. Oh, she went from... I didn't realize that she had suddenly gotten four kills. But Talon is still Talon. Talon is now six and one way stronger than, than anyone else in this game at this point. Like, that right there, right there means we win. Right? I don't see a 6-1 and one Talon losing this game, especially not if we don't start feeding our, our butts off. Like, and we're not. Like, we've only got a couple of kills each on us, a couple of deaths each on us. It's, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, I don't think Talon wins that one. No, definitely not. But... Uh, no. No. Ah, oh, he's not going to go that way. Darn. I was hoping he was wrapping around for some reason. I'm just going to try and get this. There we go. At least now we have... Uh, vision on dragon. Okay. I'm not sure what... I, I wasn't watching. I'm not sure what Zen Zhao was doing there. Nope. We're just burning the flash. Like, we gotta go if you want to do it. Like, they're there. Okay, well, Brand is now completely capable of taking on the Anivia. Well, the 2 and 6 Anivia, but the Anivia nonetheless. Never underestimate an Anivia. It's, it's just good policy to never underestimate an Anivia. She's one of those champions that just does too much damage. And it's all because of her, her, um, her, her Ice Spike. If she hits a champion that she's got slowed with one of her abilities, it does double damage. It's like, hi, free, free lots free lots of damage and it's a point and click so you, you don't you can't get away from it but we finally got the turret that we wanted to get in, in the in the earlier portion of this so 
We're probably not going to get any damage onto this mid tower here. I think I want to leave. Try and get some farm in the jungle because I'm still. Like, I'm ahead of her. I'm ahead of Kaisa now, which is a good thing. But I'm not where I want to be. I want more. There we go. Let's see. I think I'm just dead. Yeah, that's a six, and that was a six and four volley bear. Like, I was hoping that I would be able to stop him, but I threw the traps too far. I think part of me was aiming at the at the teleport rather than the volley bear that was right on top of me. Oh well, things happen. I'm gonna work on Runan's next. Uh, obviously, it's one of her core items. Triple rockets. The explosions are too good. Um, I don't think that's going to do anything, but yeah, no. If Volley Bear didn't have Triumph, it might have, but all right. So now I understand that the Dark Harvest might actually work better than I think it, it did. I don't think it's like the build on Volley Bear or anything, but it's definitely, it's probably just the fact that it's a Volley Bear. I'm dead. You get hit by the Nivea stun, you get hit by the Morgana stun, by the Morgana root, it's just over. Now I'm now I'm feeding, but Oh well. The rest of my team's doing fine, so ish. I'm not sure what Talon's doing. Like Volleybear's just too strong. Like, we need to focus him with everything we've got. That's the only way we're going to win this. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry for people's eardrums exploding. Uh, it's setting winter, so... Only got a month left, and then it's winter. Get ready for your snowshoes. I I am ready for snowdown. I'm definitely ready for snowdown. I, I have a feeling that this year the snowdown skins are going to be really, really beautiful. Riot's been doing a lot of really beautiful skins lately, so I'm I'm very excited to see what they've got in store for us this year. I'm gonna go ahead and take blue. Like I'm two and four, so it's probably not the best person to be giving it to, but I need the gold, and blue buff means I don't have to worry about my rockets running me out of mana. Let's see. Ooh. All of a sudden, there's a team. Um, yeah, I don't think we're making anything out of this one. Oh? Nope. I don't have anything. I, I don't I don't think we're winning this one. Nope. It started out fantastic and <sighs> Kaisa got a couple of kills and just snowballed and Volleybear got way too strong. I think this is over. I don't know if there's anything we can do anymore. But, you know, we're still going to try. Up in two. Let's see. Maybe? Oh, only, only half the damage it needed to do. You hate to see it. I don't have nearly enough farm right now. I'm about 75 off of where I would like to be. Like 
I am doing abysmal on farm today, but... That was a point-blank miss on the Cleaver. Nice. Let's see. If we can get the Dragon, we might be able to do something. Because they're obviously not on Baron. I'm just going to recall here, grab my Zeal, and uh, go defend bot lane. Or go defend top. Talon's already going to be there, but we also have Supers pouring in our base, so... And the Mountain Drake is really nice, because the Mountain Drake... Uh, Mountain Drake's going to get us, uh, hopefully, a Baron easier later. Alright. Cleared that up, got some more gold. Um, about 500 off of my Runans. Once I get Runans, the gold's going to be Essence Reaver. Uh, Essence Reaver's got the CDR that's going to get us more rockets, more zaps, more traps. Uh, and it's also going to mean that I'm never going to run out of mana again. From there, I'm going to probably go Rapid Fire. Nice. And a kill for me. All right, so that's Runan's in the bank. I'm going to back off now because Volley Bear is on our top turret and Supers are on our Nexus turrets. Just push him off of there. I'm not worried about the minions. Oh, geez. clench. My butt was clenched so hard there. <sighs> Watching a volley bear come up on you like that is uh, oh, it's frightening. It's terrifying, especially when you know he's the strongest enemy on their team. Like, Kaisa might be 9 and 4, but volley bear is 10 and 5, and there's nothing I can do to, to, to eat through that until I get close to my full build. Like, I'm not quite sure why... Talon was trying to engage him after I had backed off uh, when he was taking the tower just because, like, all I was trying to do was get him off the tower. I wasn't trying to fight him. Like, I just wanted to live. I just wanted the tower to live. So engaging him was a bad idea. I just threw the chompers to try and force him to back off. There we go. Um, I'll check. I don't think it's... Oh, yep, they're there. And they're taking it. I don't think we can stop it. Nope. Can we at least get a couple of kills for it? Yep, we can absolutely get a couple of kills for it. Made it less painful. Like, it's still painful that they got Baron, because they have a Volley Bear, they have an open in, uh, they have an open inhib in top lane, and a downed inhib in mid lane. Like, they don't have a lot of resistance right now, so that Baron is a problem. But I'm getting closer to being, a, like, a, a real champion. That's a problem. Um, oh, Mundo, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ugh, not in time. Nope. Oh, the chomp. That heal, that heal is ridiculous. 
Like, I heard Volley Bear's getting a, uh, a rework soon, and I really hope that goes through. I really hope they do something about that heal. Because, yeah, it's only once every, like, two minutes. Or, yeah, it's, like, every two minutes at base. But, like, what are you supposed to do about that? Two people can be wailing on them. And two people who haven't even really fed at all. They've just been, like, they're just not doing perfectly. And this, this volley bear can just eat everything and not care because he's healing for, like, what, 30% of his health over, over the next, like, six, seven seconds? Something stupid like that? Like... I think the only thing keeping him balanced is, is is the fact that he's not played very like as often as other champions. Like if he was played any more often than he already is, he would be considered he would be considered on the broken list. That's not there. Oh, is she gonna die? Yes, she is. I was considering throwing my rocket, but with her being that low of health, I, I wasn't gonna. Oh, I'm dead. There's just nothing to do there. Like, if, if I miss my traps, there's nothing I can do. And I don't know what that was. Like, you were doing so well, Talon. You can't one... You, you can't 1v9 like that. Like, you're an assassin. Not 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 like a Yi or something. If if you were a Yi, absolutely, you, you would be able to just maul everybody. But you're not. <sighs> We keep making these bad plays, all of us, and I don't I don't think there's any way for us to even if we made some really good plays right now, I'm not sure we'd be able to come back from this. We probably could, I'm probably full of shit. And who knows, we might be able to prove it. There's one. There's two. All right, I got two kills. I'm full of shit. Proven. Right there. Three kills. Hell yeah. Granted, the rocket was an absolute KS. I get it. That wasn't mine. But I took the kill. And there's Volley Bear proving that he's just unstoppable. Oh, literally unstoppable. Ha. Huh. Even the game says it. But I'm a jinx. I'm getting somewhere. I just got my essence reaver, and I've got now got 1,800 more gold. So I think this is where I go for the rapid fire cannon, because that range buff is going to be humongous. Uh, yeah, I think I sell my Doran's blade for that. Um, yeah, that's a 16 and five tank, by the way. That's a tank. By the way, like, that's not right. Like, he's building full tank. Outside of the Triforce, he's building full tank. He should not be able to just completely de decimate our team like that. That doesn't seem very fair. Granted, he's 16 and 5, he's fed, whatever, he's got two levels on the next highest and five levels on the Zinja. Wait, hold up. Hold up a moment. Our Zinja is level 12 at 30 minutes in the game. Hold up. I could have sworn I was in silver here. Is it toxic of me to say that, 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 that he's acting like an iron player? It's probably toxic. I'll, I'll be nice ish. Now we should be, we, sh we might might be able to win this. I would really like to. There we go. There we go. Here we go. There we go. There we go.
There we go. There we go. That's a fucking triple. Let's go. That's 2,600 gold in the bank. There's my rapid fire. That's an ace. Hell yes. Oh, we might have a shot, boys. We might have a shot. Um, I think at this point I might actually have to go with GA. I've got 12% life steal off of my. I've got 12% life steal off of my, uh, bloodline, legend bloodline. So I don't need a bloodthirster here. Uh, yeah, I think it's just gonna get a GA so that in the event that I get killed, I have a shot to come back and murder people um so unfortunately we didn't get to do anything with that ace just because we were pushed in like we were all the way back at our base so i'm really just kind of hoping we can pull this back out somehow but we're now getting to the point where we can actually fight them i can actually tangle with the rest of their team like, I can't tangle with, with Volibear. I can't. I'm, I'm not anywhere near farmed enough to tangle with Volibear. I'm not even sure if I had my full build if I could tangle with Volibear. Alone, at least. Volibear just soloed Baron. Hold the hold the door for a second. Volibear, a tank. Full tank build aside from Trinity Force. Just soloed Baron. Riot, what are you doing? No, we got him. Nope, we don't. I got bursted. That's it. That's game. No one else on the team can fight Volley. Like, that's probably game right there. They have Baron. They've got a full team alive, and we're down two. <sighs> yep. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. That's game. That's game. I should I should have realized that he wasn't going to be alone right there. We tried. All right. Well, that sucked. I'm going to give it to Brand. Because Brand, Brand was the CC the whole game. Um, let's look at the graphs. Uh, yeah, Brand did the most damage in the game, or second most damage in the game. Yeah, see, this is my this is my problem, and I honestly don't think it's Riot's fault. They just haven't changed Volley Bear a lot. Like, they haven't done any substantial changes to Volibear aside from a buff uh, in a long time. But he was building full tank. Let's, let's go right back to his build for a moment. Okay, so he's got a Trinity Force. That's a little bit of... that. That's the only damage item he's got. That's the only damage item he has. He went full tank. And did, what was that number? 43,000 damage in 34 minutes. I'm sorry, I don't feel like tanks should be able to do that much damage. Brand makes sense. He's a burn mage. He's supposed to. But tanks? Ryo, I think you fucked up. And I hope this Volley Bear rework is a good one, because we need... That's not healthy. When tanks can do that, there's a problem. They're not literal tanks, Riot. They don't have the cannon on top. Okay. So, we're going to move on. Uh, what we take away from that is Volibear is powerful. And, um, and that we've got some work to do. But, again, big props to the brand there. Uh, he was probably... He was the only thing keeping me going in the mid-game until, until I got to my fourth item. 
Uh, once I got that, I was able to fight a lot better, but I just ended up making a bad call going in on that volley bear. I got cocky. I'd just proven that I could fight him with a little bit of help, but the Morgana, Kaisa blindsided me. My own tunnel vision. So I just got to work on that, I guess, and see where that takes me. So thank you all for watching. Um, and uh, I'll see you soon.